about your smelly anus. <laughs> anyway, as a uh, well, but that's awesome for you. But, ladies and gentlemen, as we will be starting the show in about four minutes, that's why the timer is going down. Time is going down, ladies and gentlemen. As you definitely want to start this week off strong, ladies and gentlemen. Let's come on now. You got probably two of the best commentators here in all of Second Life here at, you know, the VWA. <laughs> Of not <clears throat> All right, folks, we've got 60 set well, less than 60 seconds left. We want to start sh chow shit, blah, 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 blah. start shouting, shouting a bug went in my mouth. It tasted good. We want to start cheering. We want to start <laughs> shouting. We want to hype up the people in the back. We want to have our first live execute. I can't say that. We want to have. We, oh. <laughs> we just want to see people beat the crap out of each other tonight. Also, make sure to have your media play automatically. I gotta do that. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, please have your media play automatically. Please have the settings switch to midnight. Please take a seat Darkness if you want. Darkness. 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 Right, so ladies and gentlemen, we are almost at that man mark, ladies and gentlemen. So once that Tron, you know, reveals itself, well, everybody get loud, get crazy, get wild, get insane, because I want you guys to make some noise. Let's do it! I need to turn that gesture off. There it is, folks! Let's hear it! Let's go crazy! We've got Kendra Christensen, our referee of the evening. Let's make some noise for her. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking, Rainbow Falcon, and welcome to Pond Time. I'm with. I uh, he is with the one, the only, Deathy. Master of everything, everything you can imagine. Don't let anybody tell you different. 
Tonight, folks, we are live at VWE Primetime. We've got four kick-ass events with eight kick-ass wrestlers. Take it away. What are we looking at, Falcon? Oh, I'm going to tell you right now what we're looking at. We're looking at Matchup. We're looking at El Tigre taking on Kid and Dark Watch. I'll tell you that. That's going to be an awesome match. As you can take away match two. We've got Alex going on one-on-one -on -one with Becky. She's going to be cheerleading and flipping her weight back in the ring. What's number three? Match number three, ladies and gentlemen, as it will be Tyler Corvas taking on the church boy, Vince Easterwood, and finally in our main event, Deathy. We've got the Battle of the Redheads. We've got Maxine Darkwatch going one on one with Lee Valentine. I can't wait. Also, I got news that that main event is going to be a number one contenders match for the women's title. Oh, yeah. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the show tonight? Well, without further ado, production, send them on out. Falcons first. Of course, as ladies and gentlemen, from Durango, Mexico, weighing at 210 pounds at a height of 5 foot 10, he is El Tigre! El Tigre, former grid champion, defeating John Dennis for that belt. He is coming up, he is coming out and waiting to work his way back up to another title shot. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, as boy, as he's been on a hot streak recently. I'm going to tell you that right now. Anybody who goes in the squared circle with El Tigre has to be aware of his high-flying style. He is definitely our Lucha Libre representative here in VWE. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. But, uh, actually, I'll let you introduce his opponent. Introducing his opponent at six foot three, two hundred sixty seven pounds from New Orleans, Louisiana. Please welcome Kieran Darkwatch. That's right, as this man himself has pretty much just came in like a rocket here in the VWE. As we did, none of us knew who he actually was as he was portrayed as the second Asheron Nightfire. But, as he defeated the old Asheron and I don't know what happened to him, but King Darkwatch revealed himself and he is now here at the VWE. Kieran Darkwatch calls himself Temptation. As you see, he, he's coming out with uh, kind of like a Chippendale dancer attire. He's got, that, <laughs> he's got that bow tie on with the collar, but not the rest of the shirt. He's even got the cuffs. But no, less, that's why the ladies here call him Temptation. That dance is definitely not directed towards us, Falcon. No, it's not. It's directed to uh, Kemiki. The latest. As ladies and gentlemen, he just wants to remind everybody you are not Kieran Darkwatch. I never will be Kieran Darkwatch. No matter how hard I try. And you actually try? No. Thought so. But now this, this should be a very interesting matchup. Ke Kendra Christensen. Giving the guys the rules. <laughs> That's right. As, uh, as El Tigre is uh, stuck in uh, Kendra. That's not how dead. it works. That's not how any of this works. Oh, that, that was uh, odd, but El Tigre has been on uh, on a hot streak recently. As there goes the there goes the ref there goes the bell, ladies and gentlemen. Kieran being the aggressor, coming towards El Tigre. El Tigre, uh... Oh, meeting him in the center. Yeah, it looks like El Tigre's trying to be a little bit careful. He doesn't know much about Kieran Darkwatch as they both go right into a lockup right now. Both men are unpredictable. 
That's right. Unpredictable in their own style, ladies and gentlemen. El Tigre being his luchador style. Uh, and, ooh, a shove by nice. Lolo. Yeah. Nice recovery from that shove by El Tigre. That's right. As, as he gets shoved right back. But, no, as he goes right back into it, as he's trying to push, uh, as he's trying to push Kieran. But, ooh. As, ooh, there goes uh, Kieran right into a wrist lock on El Tigre. And El Tigre is also coming off from a victory, although it is by DQ over uh, Jason last week. That's right, but oh, there goes a T right to a wrist lock and straight to a hammer lock right now as he has, yes, Kieran Darkwatch literally right by his arm. Ladies and gentlemen, don't let his size fool you as, whoa! It looks like Kieran tried to throw El Tigre right off with that snapper, but El Tigre comes right back into uh, Kieran Darkwatch's uh, senses right now. As right Size now, it doesn't matter, gentlemen. That you was laughing at that, were you? <laughs> <laughs> as right now, as there goes El Tigre right to the ropes, and oh, and there goes right to the show but no, as as El Tigre hits a, a rebound crossbody. El Tigre getting the upper hand of that exchange. That's right. As it doesn't matter if you are Kieran Darkwatch or not, ladies and gentlemen, as El Tigre could just put you down just with his high flying style. That's right, that's oh as El Tigre tosses Kieran right to the ropes as they they both go and drop kick right to the face and no 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 He went for the drop kick but Kieran ate it and went for that spine buster, killing his momentum. That is right. As I really thought that El Tigre had that, but no, as Kieran pretty much dropped him right on his back. As there goes El Tigre right to the ropes, and uh oh, uh oh, this is not good for Kieran. And what the hell? And holy Whoa! shit! I don't think I have ever seen such athleticism out out of Kieran Darkwatch. He flipped out of that, out of that cat, out of his foot being caught and just speared him. Uh, th that's right, as there goes right to, oh, one, two, and no, only a two count. Oh, flirting with the ref, shouldn't that be a penalty? Saying, uh, on your sweetheart. Probably, as, right now, as is, as, that was just only a two count, but, uh, Kieran, I think he's trying to get the ref on his side. And, whoo! Vicious chop. Ooh, El Tigre answering back uh -oh. with elbows. Oh, looks like El Tigre is starting to get a little high. There goes Kieran right to the ropes, and oh! Shoulder block, knock El Tigre down. And boy, do the fans not like this at all. Kieran using his superior size to bully El Tigre around this ring. That is right. As right now, as it looks like as Kieran tosses a tee right to the ropes, as he goes, as there goes, and oh Jesus, Lord, I have half mercy. He, it was like a, he picked him up in the air and then switched to a bicycle kick. That yeah. has to be he. Wow. Yeah, that has to be it. One, two, and no. Wow. El Tigre Whoa. took that right in the face and kicked out. I don't know what to be more impressed at. The the fact that Kieran was able to pull off such a difficult move, or the fact that El Tigre was able to kick out of it. I'm definitely gonna have to agree with you I'm definitely gonna have to agree with that, Deathy. As right now it looks like Kieran is just just looking at El Tigre with those eyes. He just wants to put him down, but he's trying to figure out a way to put down El Tigre. I mean, you don't easily put out a tiger unless you got some sort of firearm. And firearms are illegal oh. here in VWE, folks. As, as there goes El Tigre as he hits those kicks right to the legs of Kieran. And there goes right to the ropes. So he runs at him and, whoa, and it looks like, oh, shoves him right back into the ropes. And there goes El Tigre right into a bone saw from the ropes. That was brilliant. El Tigre not giving up. He... He went for, uh, 
He went to charge at Kieran. Kieran was able to shove him away, but El Tigre rolled and recovered and went with for that uh moon salt. <laughs> you know I got tiger blood, man. I like that. <laughs> As right now, as El Tigre is, is, is in the driver's seat right now, he goes for a pin. One, two, and no! As Kieran just shouts him, you are not Kieran Darkwatch! Oh, he is not winning at this moment. And he is not Kieran Darkwatch. He, he never will be. Oh, fist as, drop! Oh, 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 oh. Fist to the face as he goes for, once again, and another fist drop! Right to the forehead! Just to be sure. Oh, he's got a double tap it. Well, wait a second. As they goes right to Ultra again, and Volantana! As El Tigre is... Go ahead. El Tigre capitalizing, I think you were about to say that. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. El Tigre needs to... El Tigre seriously needs to go for the cover. Or pick up, or pull off something big. You cannot allow Kieran to, uh... Recover after the ass whooping he put him in earlier. That's right, that's right now, as Kieran is at the court right now, but here comes El Tigre going right after him, just pummeling the hell out of Kieran Darkwatch! Ten as punches! He, that's right, and it looks like Kieran is just a little bit dazed out, he does not know where he is. I think he's starting to see a couple of Kieran Darkwatches everywhere right now. Oh, scrambled his brains. El Tigre right, coming off the ropes. And then he goes right to her. Oh my god! Oh my god. You just saw the high LT and got off of that, but he crashed and royally burned. Oh man. El Tigre landing right in front of us. And this is not going to look good. Kieran sees red right now. Yep, Kieran sees red, and Kieran sees an opportunity that he's going to immediately capitalize. As right now they are at the right now they're right here in front of the commentator table. As right now it looks like Kieran is uh, looking to uh maybe toss a, a tiger back into a ring or something. Not the table, not the table, not the table. This is Brandy. Please not table. Yeah, this this brand new table is they said Oh, oh Jesus <laughs> Oh my god, he just went face first right to the commentator table. Oh man. You know, this sign is brand new. That's right. It's not it's even a month new. old. I know, right? It's right now, as Kieran is still in the driver's seat as he tosses El Tigre right into the ring. As it looks like Kieran is looking to capitalize. As right, as right now, as they are back in the ring now, as Kieran is, Kieran can possibly have this right here in the back right now, as he's going to go for the pin. One, two, no! No, 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 not just yet. After all that, El Tigre still manages to kick out. That's right, as... As right now, as uh, looks like uh, Kieran, he wants to pull away El Tigre. As he's trying to do anything to put him down. Oh, but wait a second. As here goes El Tigre again. As he goes catching oh. Kieran and... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Rana! I'm gonna call her in the Lucha Libre style. I'm gonna call her I'm gonna call that Frankenstein. But the yeah, it it could also be a Frankensteiner, like flattened his top, definitely. Yep, that's right. They're gonna go for a pin. One, two, and no, no, absolutely not. And look, the fans are counting again. They want want to see the Hercule once again. Oh, but uh, they ain't gonna get that as Kieran, as Kieran gets tossed right to the corner. Here comes El Tigre! 
as he's going to run into those knee strikes. He sees the opportunity and he's taking it. He's taking it by storm. As always, it's going to top up. No! There it goes! Super Hakarana! This time, Kieran hitting his lower back. And coming from such a height, I don't know if he's going to be able to recover quickly from that. I'm not going to lie. I think this is the best I've seen El Tigre in a long time. As he's, oh, he's good to the top. Looks like he wants to pull away Kieran right now. Kieran's getting up, but he does not know where he is. And, oh! He has right, to try right up. It could be over, folks. One, One two, two, three! What? Three. What? Oh, my God! Ladies, Ladies and, and gentlemen, gentlemen, your winner by pinfall, El Tigre. Holy hell! That was a hard fought match, and El Tigre seems to come out on top. Oh my god! This is two in a row! El Tigre's in a hot streak right now! I guess he wants to work his way back up to a title shot. That's right, he, as he definitely wants to go after that grid title. Or any title, as a matter of fact. As, as, hey, people in the back, watch this man. Watch this man, because he is definitely going up. He's definitely going way up. He only sees the sky, and he's passing that limit, ladies and gentlemen. As he might be kid dark watch, but he put on a, a well fought match, but he was just that short. I guess you don't need to, uh, to beat Karen Darkwatch to get the W this these days. That's right. But folks, we there's more where that came from. Please stick around. As I right, ladies and gentlemen. As that was a hard fought matchup by uh by El Tigre and Keelan. I was not expecting that at all. But... but actually... I'm actually getting word right now that... Uh, uh, actually, I'm getting word from the back that... Uh, we're actually going to have a live interview right now. A live interview? Okay. Yeah. As a, I have no idea that this is going on. Alright, uh, looks like a... Uh, looks like a... Uh, Wait a second. That's a Liar Phoenix. I don't know why she's out here. All right, here you go. As I'm trying to figure this out right now. Liar Phoenix definitely has something to say. That's right. Uh, she does have a microphone, so uh, let's see what she has to say. Alright. Alright, so let's see what she says. Should I translate? Yeah, sure. So I've been quote asked 
to do a live interview with the Red Wing. <gasps> the Red Wing. In person. So, sigh. Without further ado... Well, she sounds pretty disappointed. The Red Wing is on... her way out. That's right, that's, I know that the Red Wing and Raker has been having a, uh... The hell? Looks like the Red Wing got the shorter. Massively shorter. <laughs> um, okay, so... <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's the Red Wing. Eat your veggies, kids! Oh lord. I'll let you translate for her. Alright, I'll translate for Lyra, you translate for Ray. Or, or should I translate for both? I don't know. Um, I could translate for Lyra. Okay. I'll translate for Ray. Or is it free? Free! Yeah, is that, yeah, that is definitely not the Red Wing. Yes, that's pretty hilarious. Yes. Oh, crap. Woo! Greetings, Citizen Phoenix. It is good to see all of the VWE grid. Sorry that I showed up at the arena late, but without Hypernova to help me, I've been <laughs> getting my ass handed to me by the vile villains regularly. And um, Lyra says, okay, you can cut the crap down, Ray. I don't think you are fooling A by with that outfit. I'm s I was horrible at pretending like I... <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. As, yeah, that definitely looks like, uh... Okay, you got me. I, I knew that was Ray. <laughs> she was Hypernova last week. Oh, yeah, she was. Well, she takes off her cape, revealing who... Her cape and mask, revealing who she really is. I am shocked, folks. I did not see this coming. Not me, me either. <laughs> this is George W. Bullshit. George w. Bullshit. Gotta excuse me, but it took like three bottles of hair gel to get this hair unfitting of. Oh, crap. To get this, <laughs> <laughs> to get this hair up, so <laughs> so it's not going down. Sorry. <laughs> uh, edit that out, Kitty. Okay, okay. Seems a sense of humor is the first. It's the first thing you lose when you when you on your knees next to management. I see. Oh. Are you implying that Lyra Phoenix gets on her knees for management? And Lyra does not look amused right now. No, she does not. Thing is, though, 
this is you interviewing me. So last I remember, you're supposed to be biased, not caring about happens between me and the... You know, I should just... I should just throw a dictionary at you. <laughs> and it looks like a line's going to respond. And she says, Ray, I look into the best interest for the VWE. Concerning that you can get suspended, charged, even fired with what you have been doing. But it's entertaining. However, our co-GM, Austin Knight, deems it that you are a viable asset to this company. Wow. But you see... I don't see you as a viable asset. I see you as a hindrance... And a problem. But she can take out superheroes! How awesome is that? I think only the Red Wing could take out... Well, I don't know. Where is the Red Wing? I don't know, but the only reason I haven't been able to do anything as Secretary of Co-GM Benjamin Nirvana is because of that international championship. By the way, Deathy, you try to read with this shit on your face. In your face. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna go there. Damn. Oh, you mean the title that while the women's one was vacant, I was defending week in and week out. I'm sorry, I won't say any more bad words. Arr. Proving to anyone that I'm the best between these ropes. I am the I am the most valuable asset in this division, and it doesn't matter what you think about me. I can't help you are getting so upset over this and such high moral you talk. I wouldn't be surprised if you hang a cape in your closet playing, quote, hero. Whoa. Guess she's trying to imply what something you, there. Yeah, what are you implying, Ray? That is that is that is an accusation that I I think we need to investigate. Let's look in Lyra's closet. As Lyra says, I hardly believe I can even fathom the idea of becoming a superhero, Ray. Well, there you have it. It's not Ray. Oh, I beg to differ, little bird. We need more supervillains. I mean, that rant few we a few weeks ago... Crap. <laughs> that rant a few weeks ago about justice and so on just sounds like something someone who hides behind a mask as they judge people would say. Hell, if I remember you... If I remember right, you become a pretty big hypocrite these days. And somebody in the crowd shouted, Silence Heaven. Oh boy. I didn't mean you used to attack people and try to put them out be I mean, didn't you used to attack people and try to put them out before you started this job? Oh, true, true, so true. As Lyra says, that's in the past, Ray. Yes! And Ray continues, Now you rant about my actions being dangerous and a problem, like you're better than me, but this isn't about that. Uh, 
This is about people that matter, and I got better things to do right now. Oh, and by the way, before I go... As she conjures up more words. Mm -hmm. One, I'm more entertaining than a Ranma match, and I wish Hypernova a speedy recovery, and I hope nothing bad happens to her recovering. Burn. Damn. That was a burn. And oh! oh! Um, Lyra connecting with Ray with a uh, with a right hook, and I think we're gonna end this interview. I think so too. Well, there you have it. Um, we don't have uh, paramedics on hand tonight, so we're just gonna wait for Ray to. Proceed backstage. Damn! Well, folks, uh, that's the first time I've seen an interviewer punch someone in the face. I would never do that to anyone. Just so you know. So if you, <laughs> if you, if you need somebody to interview me, you should, you should ask me. That's true. As actually, oh, I'm going to actually get word from the back from, uh, Austin Knight, that Liar Phoenix has been suspended. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. So, a suspension for that, for that attack, you have to remember, folks, the wrestlers are our biggest asset. If they're hurt and not in a match, that's, that's, a, that's very bad. I'm not going to go deeper into it. It's just bad. That is right, but uh, nonetheless, uh, as Jesus Christ, that's how hard I look. As I believe we're gonna be going right into a short break right now. All right, folks, I will go ahead and do that. All right, as I'm looking for my set of cards, one say, oh, there it is. I see the cards. <clears throat> as oh, okay, go ahead. Right. We're gonna take oh. turns. Actually, you can go first. I see. I usually just read the whole thing. I can. That's what I'm used to doing. I, okay. How about this? I'll just. I'll just do it. Okay. okay. Deep breath. Deep breath. <sighs> All right, folks. The people who pay the bills. Sinful desires. Next is Epic Gamer Radio. A is a new. It's a newly formed online radio station that brings you the best in music, gaming talk shows, and podcasts, and more. We're currently looking for DJs, stores, and more to join the community. Listen to Epic Gamer Radio here. And I'm going to copy and paste this link. I am looking forward to that. I'm a gamer, and I'm epic. Contact TruePod Resident for more information. Boom, boom, bam. My Studio Productions is a company that not only creates both voice and video commercials, but now produces game shows, <coughs> talk shows, offers promotional marketing services, and more. Now hiring voice instructors and dependable graphic artists. Contact Maxine Yashiro for more. And I guess we'll copy and paste her name so you know how to spell it. Team Wildfire! It says shout it. So, sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, Team Wildfire has expanded across the grid, giving you a full custom listing of videos, logos, posters, and t-shirts, all at reasonable prices. Catch our videos at this YouTube site that I'm about to copy and paste. And our production... Uh, I'm sorry, at our product listing, which I'm copying and pasting. I hope I'm, po I'm I hope I'm pacing. Okay, yes, it is Control Z. Okay, Control C. Contact Lyra Phoenix, who just punched out one of our wrestlers. 
or Captain Rainbow Falcon, who is right here next to me. That's that's this guy. That guy. Team Wildfire, it's time to burn. Do you want do you want to learn more about your favorite wrestlers in Second Life? This website has your information for your favorite SL wrestlers. Updated weekly with new interviews. If interested, contact Tyrus Nova Sarevi in World. This is her name. Bam. I'm getting good at this. Get Like Me, Big Baby Animations by Derek Cult. You should know how to spell that by now. Giving you brand new animations and custom moves in the world of professional wrestling in Second Life. For more information, contact Derek Cult in World. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to VWE tonight. As we are put on for your entertainment, please feel free to donate any possible lindens behind this commentary table, behind these two awesomely epic guys. And feel free to donate all your money. I'm sorry. I mean, donate what you can spare. Any and all lindens are certainly appreciated. If you've been looking for a way to promote yourself or your place of business outside the normal means of simple ad boards or wasting your money on classifieds, because nobody uses that. If you want your products and services to be seen and heard in front of a live audience as well as on demand, Virtual Wrestling Entertainment is now offering new sponsorship packages. Sponsoring the VWE is a great way to promote your products and services as we promote you through our arena, on our website, during our two weekly live shows, and on our show replays. Please feel free to contact Austin Knight. I'm going to say something about classifieds. The only time people use classifieds nowadays in Second Life is to find orgies. And, you know, there's more to do on Second Life besides orgies. Just saying. Oh, crap. That is right. That's just a V. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yes, that guy. Now I believe we're going to be moving on to match two. Ladies and gentlemen, match number two. Introducing first. Wait, did we play the music yet? Uh, the music is not playing, but now it is. All right. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, this match is for one fall. Your referee in charge, Kendra Christensen. Making her way to the ring first at five feet even. Weighing in at 110 pounds. Hailing from Arizona State University, please welcome Becky. Oh boy, she looks overly excited for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Is this a wrestling match or a pep rally? Eh, it doesn't even matter. I mean, she is just here to have fun. As she is our resident cheerleader here. Oh, she's got moves. Oh, hell yeah. Impressive and dangerous. Yeah, sure, I'll hold your pom poms. Yeah, I've already I've already been I'm I'm under investigation for sexual harassment, so I'm afraid I can't do that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Talk to my lawyer. Oh, but uh, nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, I believe we're going to be introducing her opponent. As that song definitely gets addicting. It's very catchy. That's right, but <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, introducing first from East Point, Michigan, weighing in 135 pounds at a height of 5 foot 8, she is Alexa Zlakis. As I hear, because Alexa, she's definitely one of those people that uh, you just don't know what she can do. Like, she she could do a lot of things, but a majority of the moves that she has involves a lot of her vicious kicks. And boy, as no one can kick harder than her. I have not seen a female that can kick harder than Alexa. What is who is going to prevail? The kicks of Alexia or the athleticism of Becky? I don't know, but uh, Becky is uh, doing cartwheels right now. <laughs> and well, wait a second, there's Becky as she goes in. High five! 
no bad blood between these two. Or is there? Um, Alexa is one to get annoyed easily. There's the bell, folks. As I, ladies and gentlemen, as this matchup is underway, as it looks like as Becky's gonna go right into a lockup. As uh, Becky is definitely small about oh wait, so then she goes right to her immediate wrist lock. You would ex you would expect her to try to get her uh, to not you know fight Alex directly, but she went straight for that arm lock, which gets reversed. That wrist lock, excuse me, which is reversed into a wrist lock of her own. Yep. As uh, Alex says, nope. The strength factor definitely on Alex's favor as she switches to a hammer lock. Oh, but a reversal there by Becky. Great technique. And, oh, a headlock. Oh, yeah. Becky is definitely uh, doing some uh, nice uh, technical stuff right now. But, oh, as it said, as Alex takes her down right to a headlock takedown. As uh, Becky thought that she had this, but didn't. As one, only one count. Very sneaky. Almost got, was able to roll her shoulder to the mat. But Alex maintains control. That is right. As I know, you can hear the fans are there cheering out for Becky, it seems. Alex has a full eight inches over Becky. And, uh, and definitely a weight advantage. Um, over 20 pounds. So she definitely wants to slow this match down because Becky is a lot has a lot more energy and she is a lot faster. Oh, very nice armbar takedown there. It, yep, that's exactly what Alex is doing. She wants to take this match at her own pace. She doesn't want to go too fast. She wants to take it slow. I just wanna take it nice and slow. Okay, I'm gonna stop. But yeah, that's right. That's right now as. Uh... It's right now, it looks like, oh, wait a second, look at Becky's getting up! And, oh, she Irish tosses... Whip. Uh oh. And she goes and, oh, she went for a close up, but no, completely miss. And here comes Becky and Alex, and, whoa! Back roll, right over Becky, it seems, but, oh, no! Into a drop kick by Becky! Falcon, oh, as we go for the cover! One, two... Oh, only oh, a two, two count. Hey, Falcon. Alex showed a little bit of athleticism there, but Becky is proving to us that that's her realm in this match. I'm definitely going to, uh, t I may have to agree with that one. But Alex says, oh, and she just slapped Becky across the face and tossed her right to the corner. But, oh boy, wait a second. It's Becky caught herself, and no, it's her corner right into the corner. Whoa! Oh, wait, wait, as Becky's going to go for a pin! Can this One, two, and no! As that was only a two count. Becky surprising us all here today. That's right, that's right. Now, where's Becky going? Becky definitely using her speed as an as advantage she says, against Alex, and, uh... Yep. In the last uh, exchange, Alex couldn't keep up. There she goes, and right to her. Well, it looks like she's going to go for. Oh no! And Jesus Christ, vicious power bomb by Alex, and she's going to go for a pin. Ref, you might want to count. Yeah, ref, what's what gives? One, two, no. Oh, oh. controversial, people. Controversial. <laughs> Controversial, just like John Cena. <laughs> yep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Alex. The ref did not get down fast enough. It happens. We're only human. The ref did not see her shoulders down. That's a, an oh vicious chop by Alex. Oh, send those chops right to Becky. And she's going to go right to the corner. Uh, right to the ropes, I mean. Oh, she's oh. setting up something big here, Falcon. Here she comes as she goes right to a pickup as she says, Psych! Oh! oh. Holding she her so she can clothesline her. Yep, she goes like right over the ropes as the fans show their disbelief as they thought that Alex was just going to straight up clothesline her. That was very, very smart. Becky 
seeing it coming, went and laid on the ground, but Alex was just like, psych, and clotheslined her, almost took her head off right in front of us. Oh yeah, indeed. Decapitation. Decapitation! So right now, it looks like Alex has Becky right now. As the ref is at two cap, but right now, Alex has Becky right there. Front face lock now. And she's just drag her right now. Just drag her back at what? Oh, wait a second. It looks like she's taking a look at those steps right now. That's a she's, bad spot to be. She's shopping for, for a way to deal out pain. And she says, cheerleader beats steel. And I don't think that's... Hey, oh, you! Drop to hold. Sends Becky tumbling over that. And it looks like her... Looks like... Was it her back? Uh, it was... Uh, it was a, I think it was just her entire body. It looks like Alex went in just to reset the count. Uh, she, uh, she oh, everything to... hurts. Yes. That's so right now, Becky is... Uh, is just... It looks like she's probably down and out at this point. It so looks like she tosses her right back into the middle of the ring. Now Alex wants to keep this a uh, straight up brawl. This is this is where she's going to excel in this match. Uh, trying to go all matrixy and running around. That's not gonna. That's that's not where she can keep up with Becky. And uh, there was a cover just now, and only a two. Only a two count. And oh my God, you could just hear the. The fans right now, Jesus Christ! You ruined their pep rally, Alex. This is music to her ears. Uh, so right she knows now, she's doing something right. As Alex tosses her right to, and uh oh, wait a second! As here she comes, oh, into a double knees right to the head. As oh, Becky's not looking pin. good. One, two. And no! Alex still has fight in her. Becky, visibly in pain. That is right. Proving that her spirit is, is not crushed. Oh, European oh. uppercut! Yep, my cross the jaw also. The ref giving a warning saying to open those hands. Yep, you gotta watch out. That looks like Becky's getting up and oh Jesus Jesus, that vicious front kick by Alex and like I said, she gotta watch out for those kicks and there she goes with the old one too. There we are. Saving her weapons. Her her best weapons, those legs. That's right, that's right now as Alex has Becky down right now. Yeah, she says time for something new. What's she gonna do? I don't know, she she first put something old and now she's gonna do something new. I don't know what she's thinking about though. That's oh. Right, she goes, oh! Oh my god, it looks like Becky is days out as wait a second. As then she goes in Oh as she calls that statically stacked statistic Statistically I don't know what to call it. done. Yes, yes, statistically. Yeah, yeah, that move. Well, she needs to go for the cover, and the ref needs to count. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a tongue twister. As <laughs> he's going for a pin. One, two, and three, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by pinfall, Alex. Alex. The fans heartbroken that that their pep rally was ruined. Oh my god. Folks, folks, she won that fairly and squarely. It was hard fought. Well, Alex rained on that parade. But it was a well fought match. That is right.
as I mean that was an impressive match by by both uh, women, as I believe we're gonna be uh, uh, moving on with something. But like like I said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as a uh, as that was, that was an impressive match by both women. And technically, that makes right now halftime. Should we go over what happened so far? That's right, that's actually, look who's coming out now. It looks like uh, Roxanne's coming out. Oh. Ah. It looks okay. like she's just... Well, she's gonna be walking into a crowd right now. You think you know me. You think you know me. Oh, wait, sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what she's doing out here, though. Roxanne's just inspecting the chairs? I don't know, but it looks like she... It looks like uh, she went to... Uh... She forgot something. It looks like she's just checking under the uh, the chairs right there to see. Uh, she probably dropped something. I don't know what she dropped though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The crowd is putting their two cents that she says that she's dropped her dun dun. Dropped her dun dun dun? Uh, yeah. Oh, the song! Don't drop that dun dun dun. Hey, don't drop that dun dun dun. I know that song. Yeah, I do. As a. Uh... Oh, frankly, I don't know where that. I don't know where Roxanne went. I'm pretty sure she has something important to say, so why don't we just give her some time? Uh, let's... Uh, let, let's you know what? Let's stall. Got. Let's stall. Let's stall. I mean, let's talk about what happened earlier today. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so we had a brilliant one-on-one -on -one match. With El Tigre going one on one with Kieran Darkwatch, Kieran was Kieran had the size advantage and the benefit of no one else being Kieran Darkwatch but him. El Tigre was somehow able to persevere and, and pin him in the middle of the ring with his superior speed and lucha libre tactics. That's next. That's oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. <laughs> As uh, next, we had a. Uh... As Life Fierce came out, that she wanted to do an interview. Uh, she, she looks like she was forced to do an interview with the uh, Red Wing, which uh, quote, quote the obvious that wasn't the Red Wing. Yeah, it, it, it was definitely Re Kurahara and uh, Re. Oh, Hello. okay, 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 okay. One second. Um, mental notes. So. So Lyra confronted Rhi about how much of a danger she's been to um, to her, her fellow wrestlers, the fellow wrestlers that happen to wear superhero outfits, um, and Rhi called her out on her bullshit, you know, because because Lyra did did injure a few wrestlers back in her day. So yeah, but um, the it ended up with with Lyra giving. Re a right hook to the jaw, knocking her out in the middle of the ring, humiliating her, and getting suspended. Yeah. So, how long will the suspension be? We don't know. And finally, we've had our second match with, with uh, Arizona State University's own Becky going one-on-one -on -one with Alex. And what a showing that was. Becky had the advantage early in the match. Um, and she had the support of the fans. But towards the end of the match, Alex was able to control it and use those lethal legs to take the win. One, two, three. And 
That's right, that's looks like us. We are back with Roxanne, it seems. I think right now. It looks like she's she's trying to find something. That's actually here she comes right now. Maybe she's looking for her keys. As uh, she goes and hops the barricade now. You think you know me. You think you know- <laughs> I'm gonna stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, oh, that's cold. That's right now, as Roxanne is definitely, uh... She's getting to the ring right now. Does anybody have a mic for her? Oh, oh no, anybody, anybody mic. got a mic? I think she's got her own mic. Roxanne shouts, BOW TO THE QUEEN! Okay, so, yes, I did attack Ronnie, but I had good reason for it. A good reason for it. She says. I have to show the VWE that I can make an impact, and that I am the strongest and most powerful bombshell on the roster. She made an impact on Ronnie's face. I've seen Ronnie post on Facebook and gloating to her friends that she won that match when she merely caught me on one of my off days. So I wasn't 100%. That was a handed win to her. And oh, whoa, 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 wait, says, wait a minute, what? that's Ronnie Patel. Uh-oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. wait a second, Ronnie's just, Ronnie has your mind. As Ronnie, sh as Rox, as Ronnie says, Roxanne, you are a very, very, very bad queen. You are not honorable, and this will give you very bad karma. As I think she's speaking in all sorts of different languages right now. <laughs> the the font for that language is not on my. Uh, I I don't have it on my computer, so I can't see it. <laughs> as right now, as oh, whoa, 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 whoa. as uh, hi Roxanne, how you doing? Roxanne went for Ronnie, but Ronnie was prepared. Must be another off day for Roxanne. I I have to say you also And oh that looks like oh, a back shit. Her. My back my neck did my she, back did, my neck did she my throw back. her back Wait no no wait wait Roxanne you okay? Did, Roxanne, how's your back? I'm gonna sue for two twenty thousand dollars, but we can sell this outside of court right now for twenty bucks. As Ronnie says, oh no, you really made the impact on that calm desk. You get good karma by continuing to lose. I am certain. Are you okay? Can we get some medical help for her? Actually, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, let's get some medical help for Roxanne. I think she hit her back right on the commentary table. Uh, uh paramedics aren't here today. Uh, 
as Ray says, when we meet in the ring next time, we'll have some good gun body from Yuda. And we can have yoga and tea after. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you, my beautiful fans. Well, um... Um, can we get Michael? Is that, that was definitely... Uh, that was definitely an impact, folks. Um, nothing says impact more than doing a back body drop on someone and having them land and hit the commentary table on the way down. That is how you make an... That's how you make an impact. I hope you're taking notes. Yeah, um, Roxanne, uh, actually... Let's, can we get a medical team out here? Like, seriously? She She's not getting up seriously. Yeah, she, Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, we need medical attention right now. Uh, looks like it's, uh, our ref is actually, uh, help, helping Roxanne right now. As, uh... Yes, and she is a trained referee, so. Yes. I don't know how, I don't know how much medical comes with that, but she's a referee. She wears a uniform. Sorry, as... But, gee, Jessica, you're not, not so rough. <laughs> Careful with that back. Yeah. I, I don't know where you're going with that, but I'm not going to comment on that. Oh, grabbing her by the hair. Yeah, uh, Kendra, uh, you might want like... You know what? You know what? She's getting results. Roxanne will soon not be in the front of our commentary desk and be backstage. And th really, that's what we want. So, uh, good? Yeah, uh, yeah. Also, just, uh, be, just some advice. Kendra's not the, uh, most gentle ref. Man, to be a ref these days, you can't be gentle. That's true. That's, <laughs> uh, yeah. Our old ref, one of our old refs, he used to just sit around eating brownies all day, and every time someone bumped into him, he was knocked out. That's true, actually. What, what ever happened to that old ref? Who cares? Drugs. Drugs is how he stayed skinny. <laughs> but no, less ladies and gentlemen, I believe we're going to be uh, going to our next matchup pretty soon. Once they get her backstage. Yep, it looks like Jerry got backstage. <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move on to match number three. Your referee in charge, Kendra Christensen. Introducing... Yep. Oh, you got, you got that? Um... Yeah, I got this. As introducing first, from the hometown of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing 165 pounds, a height of 5 foot 11, he is Tyler Corvas! This is your wake-up call. And I'm going to tell you right now, Tyler has revitalized himself. He's became a whole new person. And I'm going to tell you right now, he's, 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 he's on his way to that ladder as last week as he actually helped Jeffrey Fireguard as he was getting attacked by uh, Vince Easterwood after, after, after a matchup as uh, Vince interfered in Tyler and Jeff's match. So Tyler, how you doing? Oh, we'll be a guest as he was there. Two Tembi in, two Tembi in. And... Is that the response I'm gonna get? The smiley face? <laughs> That's how he's doing. He's doing... Smiley face. <laughs> Alright, now let's get some cheesesteaks. 
while he's speaking Spanish. He started it. No, he's not Latino. <laughs> Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, let's I'm not Latino. To, uh, I am Latino. I'm well. I am Hispanic. Just not Latin. I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm black. Okay. Uh, introducing his opponent at five foot eleven, weighing in at one hundred and fifty pounds. Hailing from Cincinnati, Ohio, please welcome the church boy, Vince Easterwood. And boy, this is going to be very, uh... This is going to be a very interesting matchup as Vince Easterwood, uh pretty much interfered in Jeffrey and Tyler's match last week. And Vince is on a roll. He, Vince wants that title, no matter what. He has faith that he will get that grid title, no matter what. And he has, he has redone his entire self to, you know, be up to standards to get, to get, to, to get that title. Even more so. He is he definitely does. hungry. He sacrificed a lot to get on this title path, but did he sacrifice his soul? That is a very interesting to uh that's a very interesting concept that you got. Yep. I've been thinking about that all day. That's right. Tyler Corvus, Vince Easterwood. That's right, that's this match is gonna be go for and the bell's been rung, ladies and gentlemen. As right now as Tyler's just pointing stuff at Vince right now. Vince in his uh, signature stance. That's right, that's Vince is the is the most technical person in pretty much anywhere. As there they go right to a lockup. As right now, as uh, both Tyler and Vince are right in their lockup, as as yes, as they both pretty much stand almost even. However, Tyler just has a 15 pound difference, as he weighs just a bit more. As oh, there goes Tyler as he shows Vince right back. Oh, t using those 15 pounds to his advantage. That's right. This is usually the feeling out process. That's right. It's usually feeling out process, but uh, but Vince is. Uh, I'm not gonna say that he's uh, sneak. He he like he plays you know like dirty or stuff like that. But he is very uh. Oh, he could definitely like reverse a lot of um tactics. Uh, uh, he he could pretty much neutralize nearly any wrestler. As a Tyler I've Ghost fight, yeah. I've seen him. I've seen him go toe to toe with the likes of David Hawk actor Derek Colt and Big Asher on Nightfire. You name yeah. it, he's fought them. That's right, then. And Tyler has to watch out. Oh, there goes Tyler. He's just going for a punch right to a chop at Vince right now. So right now, Tyler, Tyler is just chopping the way right now. And so there goes Vince right to the ropes. And oh, Tyler right to a clothesline, sending Vince down. That's right now. Oh, wait a second. Tyler's going to go for a pin. There's the cover. And, and only a one count. He might not look it, but Vince Easterwood is a dangerous individual. 
Tyler Corvus should keep on him. That's right, and oh, just as you say that, as t there goes Vince just sweeping the legs of Tyler, taking him down. Tyler did not see that coming, and oh, there goes Vince as he kicks Tyler right into the gut, and he goes right to the ropes, and Vicious Spear taking down Tyler. As Vince is not playing any games today. So, and that, I don't know, there was Vince, he just stomps on Tyler. As he says, that's, oh wait. As there was, there was Vince right to Rose and oh, to that signature knee drop of Vince Easterwood. Wait, so there was right to, right, oh, right to a lion salt, right onto Tyler. Tyler was probably not expecting that so early in the match. But it hurts nonetheless. Oh no, is he twitching? I don't know. But uh, oh, it was, it was Vince just picking up right to a kick to gut as he goes to the ropes once again. All right, Tyler into a drop kick, sending Tyler down. The kid gloves are off, Tyler. He's going to have to get up and get some sort of offense going. No human can take this for so long. One, what? two. Nope. As that was only a two count. This is not one for celebrating or turning his back, so you got to take the openings where you can get them. That is definitely right. That's right now as uh, Vince has uh, got Tyler picked up, but no, as Tyler just shows Vince off. Uh, looks like Tyler's getting a little bit angry. And oh, I think he's going for left and right. At the right to the ropes and right to a big shoulder block, but no, as oh, he takes Vince down. That's some sort of offense going. That's a good start. Going for the pin. Maybe he's out. One. Two, no. Only a one count. count. Oh, wait, the that was leg only didn't. One? Yeah, that was only a one. Excuse me. That. It looked like he didn't have a good hook on that leg. Yeah, I don't think so either. Pure desperation, perhaps? But, you know, he's got control. He can do something. Oh, oh there oh. you go. As Tyler with a spin back kick right to the gut. Perfectly as, executed. As he says, this was for Jeff too. What does he mean by that? As he goes to the ropes and oh, right to Luther's press. Just punching the hell out of it. Looks like Tyler's here to just deal punishment. Vince is trying to win. He's trying to just put him away and get this done. As I as he goes to the ropes and oh wait a second, here he comes with a court screw. Oh as he lands it. Brilliant. That's right, that's right now as as Vince is down as this is Tyler's moment to capitalize. Oh, yeah, he hits the ropes again, and there he goes with a 180 leg drop. Painful. And he is looking down at Vince, admiring the fact that he is uh, wincing in agony. That's right, that was a weird way that Tyler get up. Hey, right, we rolled and popped back up. What's Tyler going to do here? How is he going to put away the church boy? I don't know, as Ooh. Oh! And oh! Oh! to the face! You going to uh -oh. interfere in, match in more matches? Huh? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh no. This is if there's one thing you do not do, you do not slap a man. As oh wait, says Tyler goes with, Oh right to a Hurricanrana. 
As Charlie Murphy once said, when you slap someone in the face in the old days, they had a gunfight. Someone had to go. One, two, and no, only a two count. As there goes uh, Vance said, oh, right to a wrist lock. You oh, might boy. have woken up a sleeping beast. I guess you did it. Oh, there goes those Vince right to those Valhaus kicks right to the chest of Tyler. Twisting the arm even more afterwards. And oh, is he just going right? Yeah, Tal Vince is just going crazy right now. As oh, he said, yeah. oh, Jesus, as he calls that redemption. I would say he gets the arm once again and it's going for rededication! Oh, rededication! Oh no. He might he might take that arm out of its socket. Yeah, I think uh Tyler is yeah, I think Tyler just awoke the uh Yeah. Just awoke the He's just uh, woken the sleeping church beast. <laughs> or the Archangel. <laughs> but no, the Archangel, I like that better. That's right, and there he goes, oh sh and this is bad for Tyler. Yes, Vince has that crossface locked in. Which Archangel? Is it Gabriel, Raphael, or Michael? I don't know. Anyone. Oh boy, yes, you hear the tap out chants. Is that a new one? As oh, there he goes. As oh, as Tala has the ropes. Oh, but wait, is that Vince is not letting go for anything right now. <laughs> Ref, you might want to start counting. As <laughs> as you can just hear the just ref Tyler. needs to count. Look at that. One, two, three. Oh, you might have to count four. four. Oh, there he goes. it's good for. This is a change in uh in Vince Easter with Demeter. He usually lets go at one. Now he he took advantage of the full four count. I'm proud. They grew up so fast. And the fact oh. that the referee didn't count Man. damaged oh, Tyler even more. I always say Vince has that full Nelson. Wait, says is Tyler's locked in that, that Nelson right now. As you can just hear the crowd, they want Tyler to fight back. But well, Vince is not letting go. Vince is letting go. No offense. Oh, whoa, wait a second. As, as Vince has him. Oh, my two of us should leg sweep. You can just hear the disapproval of the fans as Vince is going to go There's for the pin. pin. One, two, and no. This man has changed since Wrestle Series. Is it for the better or for the worse? We shall see here in 2015. Oh, but right now, as Vince is picking up Tyler once again. And oh, oh! you pin uppercut by Tyler, sending Vince down. Playing possum. I don't think anyone. I don't think anyone was expecting that. I know Vince sure as hell wasn't expecting that. Nobody expects to get uppercut in the face. Oh, I say, oh, I say, Tyler's lucky that Shashu, which he calls uh, Stoke the Fire. I don't, I, 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 don't, I, I was going to say something, but I, I have no, I have no witty remarks for that. Stoke the Fire being slapped on. <laughs> as, uh, right now as Vince is, Vince does not want to tap. As now, Vince, 
Vince's small frame sometimes prevents him from being able to drag people to the ropes. He doesn't have... He doesn't have the weight advantage in this match either. He's usually always at a weight disadvantage in every match. That's right, but however, as... As a tower is just gonna tell me, oh, whoa, whoa, wait a sec, whoa, wait a second. I spoke too soon. Yes, you did. <laughs> As despite the small frame of Vince, he is dragging himself to the ropes and he has it. He's got the ropes. One, two, oh, and Tyler, let's go at two. Very merciful. But I guess Tyler wants to deal out punishment the fair and square way. Uh oh. That's right as Tyler's pulling Vince right to the middle of the ring. That's right now as uh, Tyler's thinking about what to do next as he goes right to the ropes and he's gonna hit the rolling thunder. The rolling thunder hits its mark. The rolling thunder hits its mark. Oh wait, wait, wait! He says Talos go right to the top rope and here he comes, flying up right to the chest of the church boy. A smart man would go for the cover right now, and, and yes, he is. One, two, and no! Just like John Cena. And boy, yes, uh, yes, Tyler is getting super frustrated right now. And, oh wait, yes, Tyler went to pick it up, but no, as Vince uh, gives him an eye rake. As that as that's not the usual move of Vincent. Oh boy, he's going for a right reverse lock again. And oh Jesus. A hammerlock. As right now as goes right right to that and there he goes and he is the death drop DDT. Not going for the cover, but instead looks like he's going towards the turnbuckle? You thought he's waiting for Todd to get back up. Wait a second. Yeah, he's keep getting up right to the turnbuckle. Taking his sweet time, he better hope that Tyler is out cold. I think so. And then he goes oh! right to redemption. Redemption. One, One. two, three, four, five. You can count all day. He's not getting up. That's right, as ladies and gentlemen, that's the winner of this match is Vince Easterwood. Vince's faith prevails once again. That is right. As Vince is definitely... He's definitely want to point that out right to, uh... Right to Jeffy Fire God. Well, his path up the ladder towards the title shot. Oh, here's the mic, sir. But here... But his path towards the title shot goes nearer and nearer with a win here against Tyler Corvas. Will we see him go against Jeffrey Fireguard? No idea, but we're going to see what he has to say. You can speak from death. 
Are all you fans so blind that you even decided to turn your back and betray me? You all are just plain ignorant of the truth. No matter. You're just making me even more determined to prove to you all how much my faith has strengthened me. You saw how I beat Tyler today, and I will continue to show just how much stronger and more determined I've gotten since the events surrounding Wrestle Series 6. And he drops the mic. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. As Vince doesn't have much to say, but definitely he, he pretty much just went straight to the point as he wants to prove that due to his faith, as he will continue to pretty much like prove the fans wrong. And, uh, Tyler, do you have anything to say? No, he doesn't. I don't know. Well, uh, he says he's going to get his. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. Words from Tyler Corbis, folks. Now, we are going to take one more advertisement break, and then we're going to move on to the main event, folks. That is right, as I'll be doing the uh, ads this time. And I guess I'll be going to the ring. Uh, yes, you will. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to thank a couple of our advertisements, such as Sinful Desires. Epic Gaming Radio is a newly formed online radio station that brings you the best in music, gaming, talk shows, and podcasts, and more. We're currently looking for DJs, stores, and more to join the community. Listen to Epic Gaming Radio right here at EpicGamingRadio.com or contact TruePoint Resident for more information. NY Studio Productions is a company that not only creates both voice and video commercials, but produces game shows, talk shows, offers promotional marketing services, and more. Now hiring voice instructors and dependable graphic artists. You can contact Maxine Yoshiro for more information. <clears throat> Team Wildfire! Ladies and gentlemen, Team Wildfire is a spread across the grid giving you full custom listing of, of our Videos, logos, posters, and t-shirts, all at a reasonable price. You can contact our videos right there at youtube.com slash wildfire. Or you can contact our product listing here at tinyurltwildfire product. So you can either contact Live Phoenix or yours truly, the captain. Team Wildfire is time to burn. Do you want to learn about your favorite SL wrestlers in the Second Life? Well, look no for our ladies and gentlemen, because TyrusTheNoble.blogspot.com has your information on your favorite SL wrestlers. Update weekly with new interviews. If interested, contact Tyrus Nova Cerevi in World. Get like me, big baby animations by the great one Derek Holt. Give you brand new animations and custom moves in the world of professional wrestling in Second Life. For more information, contact Derek Holt in World. <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to the VWE tonight as we are part for your entertainment. Please feel free to donate any possible linens right behind this commentator table in the collection box behind us. Anyhow, all donations are certainly appreciated. And if you've been looking for a way to promote yourself or your place of business outside no means or simple ad boards that you're wasting your money on classifieds, if you want your product or services to be seen and heard of in front of a live audience such as all you fans, as well as on demand, well, ladies and gentlemen, look no further because Virtual Wrestling Entertainment is now offering new sponsorship packages. Sponsoring the VWE is a great way to promote your product and services as we promote you on Arena, on our website, during our two weekly live shows, and on our show we place. Please feel free to contact Austin Knight for more information. And I'm going to let Deathy take it right away, my brother. Thank you very much, folks. Oh, let me put the mic to my face. Bam. Bam. All right. Thank you very much, folks. We are going to have, we're going to intro this main event. They're going to come down to the ring, and I'm going to say their names, and you're going to cheer, or I'm going to come out there. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not coming out there. I don't want to touch any of you. But, yeah, we're going to do that. Let's go.
Production, that's enough. And excuse me, Daffy, I'm going to need the ring for a moment, so please forgive me. <laughs> Apparently, this match coming up is going to be a number one contenders match, but we all know, know I've already earned the right to fight for the title by beating Isabel a few weeks ago. <laughs> but it seems like everybody wants me to waste my time, so you know what? I'm just go going to go ahead and play their charades. However, I have a little present for Miss Isabel Production, if you would help me out, please. What does she mean by that? Aww, isn't she <laughs> cute? I love the girl to see you do that. I've already planned our escape. It's just we need to get the correct weapons now. <laughs> All right, you can let her out.
Maybe I should stop dancing now. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi. Hello there. It is Wednesday night, a.k.a. Hump Day, and we are here at our main event of the evening. Live at the Metropolis Square Garden here in Metropolis. Without further ado, we're going to present the main event. And now, this match is for one fall, and it is for the number one contendership. Your referee in charge, Kendra Christensen. Introducing first, at 5 foot 4, 100 and 32 pounds. Hailing from New Orleans, Louisiana, please welcome Maxine Darkwatch. And introducing her opponent at five foot seven, weighing in at one hundred and twenty seven pounds, hailing from Manhattan, New York, and being accompanied by Savannah Mohegan, please welcome Lee Valentine. Alright folks, sit back, relax, and let's rock and roll. Alright, this is going to be a very interesting matchup, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be Lee Valentine taking on Maxine Darkwatch. Did I mention my favorite colors, Red? Oh yeah, there's redheads everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Well, now, who doesn't like a redhead? True. That's right, but here they go, ladies and gentlemen, as this match is underway. That's right now, as Maxi and Lee go right to a lockup. No feeling out process here. Headlock. Yep, uh, oh, as Maxi tosses Lee right to the ropes and into a kick to the gut. Great way of escaping into a front face lock. Oh, reversed into a Northern Light suplex. One and no. And there goes Lee. She hits the ropes and right to a drop kick. Perfectly executed. As I, Maxi gets right back up. Oh, as Lee takes it down. Maxi not liking this. She's growling. And Lee trying to keep her onto the ground, but Maxi able to work up to one leg, up to one knee. Oh, and a knee to the midsection. Maxi uh, goes and oh, hoo, 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 hoo. she just launched herself off the ropes into that clothesline, full power. Lee able to get back up. That is right. Oh, stops so her with a kick to the midsection and a scoop slam. Ooh, you're usual. 
No, not from Maxine. Oh, Lee relying on her strikes, able to Irish whip after them. Ma Maxine able to recover. Oh, flying oh. crossbody misses. Yep, but... Maxine gets all mat after that. That's right. That's right now. So Lee go for a pin. One, two, and no. Kicking out at two. Just like John Cena. <laughs> you just had to say that. <laughs> I saw that coming, that's why. <laughs> oh, there goes Lee as she tosses Maxi right to the corner as, oh, she is there, and here comes Lee, but, oh, Jesus, Lord, and have mercy as Maxi comes right out of that corner with a vicious clothesline. Playing possum. Oh, look at the strength of Maxine Darkwatch! Oh! Uh, oh! That's, look that's at the... Look at the... I don't even... And, oh! <laughs> I am freaking speechless. I never run out of words to say, but... Lee was able to somehow land on the top rope and come off with that spinning heel kick off the top rope. Maxine not liking this... Well, she also probably didn't like the slap across the face afterwards as well. Oh! Shoulder block! Putting Lee down. That's right, as Maxi goes right to the ropes and hits a big old leather drop. That's right now as Maxi goes for the ropes again and oh, right to a senton! Lee visibly in a lot of pain. Maxine smells blood and she's attacking like a shark. That's right, and one, two, and no. Valentine's slow to get up. That is right. And there's the headlock from Maxine Darkwatch. What's she gonna? Where's she gonna go from here? Oh, spinning, spinning back kick, and oh, just tossed by the hair outside of the ring. Oh no, not outside of the ring, into the corner. Oh boy. As you go over here, as oh, oh my God, as she just, as Lee just tossed Maxine right by her weave. Me by her hair. Whoops. I don't see any tracks showing. There goes Lee. That's, oh, whoa, whoa, he said Maxi caught him right to a top and drop right on the, uh, on the, uh, lower, uh, back area. Or, as you like to call it, that ass. That I don't ever say that, do I? Yes, I do. Ooh, as Maxi went for Roll of Thunder, but no, as she completely missed. The lower back. Lee is just waiting for Maxine to get up. Oh boy. And, oh, as looks like Lee went for a cyclo kick, but no, as she missed, as Maxi vote right out of the way. And then goes Maxi, oh, right to a drop kick, sending her all the way outside. These ladies have battled many times over the years. They know a lot of, they know a lot of each other's strategies. This is like a chess match. A chess match with red hair and big boobs. And asses. As and asses. Oh! Dun, 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 and then goes Maxi with the flying priestess right to the Sorry. outside. And right now, it looks like as uh, as Lee's down for it right now. And oh my oh! God, Maxi! Oh my Jesus, Lord! Forcing her face to kiss the ground repeatedly.
Yeah, let's oh, let's make sure. Oh, suplex! Oh, my into God. the barricade! Oh my God! She tried to freaking kill her. Well, that's one way of saying I don't like you. I'll tell you, it's right now the ref is at seven. As Lee ha Lee has to get up right now, Savannah is going to check up on her. So right now, it's ref is at eight. As right now, as Lee is still trying to though, get her senses back together. Nine! Is at nine, and Lee just manages to just make it back into the ring. And, oh, as she, she does not want to get back in any time to breathe. As she hits the kick, and, oh! My two, uh, uh, I don't even know what to call that. Um. Um. I don't know. Yeah. But right now, as uh, Maxi has control now, as oh, she goes right to those knee, sh knee strikes, right to Lee at the corner, as oh, she gets right back by right off. And what is she thinking about doing right now? What are we gonna see? Baseball slide, knee to the face, drop kick to the face. She can do whatever she wants here. I don't know, but. She, she's thinking about doing it, right? Here she goes, right, right in. Oh, right to, oh, you could call that. A Bronco Buster. Yeah, because I ain't going to call it that word. Oh, a, oh, a skull fuck. Oh, a skull fuck. I have never heard of that. What is she fucking her with? Just, just, never mind. Never mind. Don't want to know. As that's for the search moves of Kieran Darkwatch. <laughs> and Whoa! Oh! And oh wait, so the flip! Right with the ropes! Ref! Pound! One, two, and no! That's not John Cena. That is not like John Cena. John Cena is not that flexible. <laughs> that's right how Lee picks up Maxine. As she tosses it right to the ropes, and here she comes. And whoa, as looks like Maxi went to do so, but no, as Lee rolled right over. And here she goes again. And oh, as Maxi caught it right to a sinner's revenge, as Maxi just go and just pummeled the hell out of Lee. But no, as looks like they just go right to a cafe, ladies and gentlemen, it's just a whole lot of cafe. Cafe! 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 Oh my god, they are pulling their hair! Red hair is everywhere! They are turning that ring purple! <laughs> I like, okay, I got a little too excited for that. <laughs> yes, right now, as a. Oh my god, they're still grabbing their hair! World Jesus star! Christ. World star! Oh! <laughs> As, oh! But no, Maxi caught him with a uh, freaking that vicious leg. It's a head and leg. Uh, was that a head and leg tasplex? Or just a captured suplex? And my two or two count. As right now, as literally, Maxi is doing everything, but she's going to throw it more. She goes for those roundhouse kicks right to Maxi, but no, as Lee shoves her, and there goes Lee right to the ropes. And then she goes, as Maxi is thinking about the monkey flipping. Now, Falcon, I want to remind you, both ladies have been on a roll here in VWE. Neither of them want to, uh, want to lose this. And also... And they don't like each other. That is right. Red he redheads are very territorial. And then she goes right to and woo! As they are both just dodging each other. And oh! Those oh. Maxi just sending a brutal dropkick right to Lee. 
it looked like Lee was planning something. She was glancing around the ring to, to plan her next move, but Maxine was able to catch her, and also with that fist drop. Jesus Christ. The fans right now, are enjoying the show. And right now, Maxine's pick up Lee right by her hair, but oh! And elbow right to by, by Lee, right to Maxine, and oh! Big old chop! Another chop! And she's fighting Maxine back! And she's setting her back! Elbows, chops! Elbows and chops! Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes! Wait, no, sorry. <laughs> and as as she goes right to the ropes! Incoming, but no! As Maxine just. Just sends her right to the ropes with a drop toe hold. Oh boy, as Maxine is taking full advantage as she's just choking the life out of Lee right now. Oh my god, these women are going at it! Well folks, if you came hoping for a technical... A technical match, uh... You will yeah, see yeah. some of that. It won't be 100% technical. You're going to see as and much hate as you can. Whoa, this is like a food movie, bro. Yeah, as, as, as Lee literally hit the ropes and, and used the advantage to spin around. Oh, there goes Lee. And, oh, my God. Beautiful spinning kick right to the head of Maxine. And she's going for the pin. One. One. Two. two and no. Oh. No. Oh my god. And oh, as Maxine goes right to the spin leg kick, send Maxine, send, send Lee down. That's Jesus Christ. Yes, my son. Irish oh, whip! Yep. As they both go for a rope, said, oh my god, vicious knee strike by Maxine, send Lee tumbling right on over. Maxine gaining control of this match, and what's oh. she gonna do with it? There goes Fight to oh. Hell Crossbody! Bringing that 132 pound frame down on Lee Valentine. And there's only, only a two count! No three, no dice! And Maxine can't believe it, she just literally got right out of the ring! Just like, what the hell? What's she saying out there? If you ain't gonna count, I'll just stay out here for the rest of the match. Whoa. Well, well, might not be a bad idea. Oh my oh. god, there goes Lee! Right on over with that vicious missile drop kick to Maxine to the outside. Ladies and gentlemen, are you not entertained? And seriously, as yes, both Maxine and Lee are just going neck and neck with each other. As there goes Maxine and Lee is a bullet fight right outside. And there goes Maxine with those punches, Lee with some chops. And wait a second, as Maxine tosses Lee right over. Oh, she tosses, as Maxine tosses Lee right inside the ring once again as the ref is counter six. As Maxine is looking to see what she could do next. And oh, it's like, there she goes right to the ropes and there she goes right to her bone salt. Neck and neck is is very is very accurate, Falcon, because they're at each other's throats. As they go for a cover, one, two, and no! No, 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 no! Once again, Maxine unable to get the two. She's at two, I mean, not, unable to get the three, excuse me. Almost there, but almost does not count. That's right, as, as seriously as... Maxine is doing everything that she can to put Lee away, but Lee is just not having it. Lee is just keep, she keeps getting back up. She's been doing this week after week. We've seen this. She is definitely, she does not want to get this up, but the same thing as Maxine. Maxine does not want to leave this to, to chance. This is for our number one contender, ladies and gentlemen. Both of these women are going at it at their throats, at their hair. They are going at it, and they're going to leave at the chop. Lee with a with an uh, Irish whip, and, and Maxine comes back into that. Was that a, a sunset flip? 
Uh, one, two, and no, it was only a two count. Oh my god. 2.9 once again. Lee now helping her up, and a kick to the midsection, coming off the and, ropes, and, and, oh, and a back body drop from Maxine. But, but Noah, is, Lee manages to roll from that, but why no, Maxine saw it, and she comes back with a spin back kick! That spinning, that spin kick rocked Lee for a moment, and Maxine coming with one more! Oh my gosh, she's going town to her! She's going ham! And oh, 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 wait a second. As Maxie's going lock in. Oh, no. Wait a second. Maxie's lock in. The devil's embrace. Devil's embrace. Oh, oh my uh, God. Good positioning on the ring. I haven't seen this move used in a long time. And this move usually makes out everyone's half. And oh, my God. There it is. And she's tapping. Oh, my God. And that was an awesome matchup. Ladies and gentlemen. Your winner of this match and number one contender for the women's title, Maxine Darkwatch. She's helping Lee up. I'm guessing they're gonna handshake. No! Oh, she's no, no. She just threw Lee right out of the ring. No love for Lee. There's a, whoa, 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 wait a second. What the hell is that coming from the Holy shit, hold up, that's Isabel! Hold it, hold it! She just came from the- She just came out of nowhere! Maxine does not see her coming! Oh, Max God. Get out of there, get out of there, Maxine! Get out of there, and- Oh, my God, man, Maxine just saw her oh. Oh, 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 my God. <laughs> oh, the my God. The connects. And Isabel- it's just no. Isabel is going to hammer her. Yeah, ring the bell some more. Cause that's gonna stop her from punching her in the face. I, hey, we need people out here. We need people out here to stop this right now. I, I'm not getting in there. Oh, oh God. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, oh my god, I'm going, I'm going to need to help her. I'm going to need to get, get off. A spear! Spear right oh, through oh, the oh, ropes wait, wait, outside wait, wait, of the wait, ring! Wait, wait, uh, it, it's, it's Isabel. It's, uh, uh, calm down. Uh, calm down. Uh, uh, Isabel. Uh, 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 Deathy, help me here! Nah, nah, bro. Nah, bro. You got that. Uh, can, can, uh, help me. can we get people back to stop this? Someone get back here! So, wait, wait, no, no, Isabel, do not do the, no, hey, Isabel, no. Isabel, no, no, don't do it, don't do it, whoa, 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 whoa. don't do it, oh, oh my god. Oh my god, and, 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 Cassius, Cassius, I need you out here, right now, right now, we need to stop her! <laughs> you know, stop, stop, stop it, stop it, stop it! Get, Don't pay uh, me enough for this, Oh my sorry, god! <laughs> so Falcon trying to do something, Cash is trying to break it up. Uh, stop it, stop it, calm down, calm down, Isabel. Miguel Santana's out here! Oh, 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 He's not even in uniform. Oh my god. Alright, so someone check out Maxine. Oh my god. Three. Four. Three or four. I, I, I. Uh, Jesus Christ. Well, folks, um. As you saw here, Isabel very upset because uh, Maxine decided to release footage, private footage, and very embarrassing footage of uh, Isabel Martinez. And uh, I don't know about you, but that is easily one of the not biggest women on the roster, but biggest people, period, on the roster. I don't know. I, what would drive you to do that? I'm just saying. She, she brought it on herself. I'm just saying. I do feel bad for her. Nobody deserves to get almost put through the concrete. Wow, we've got four refs. We've got Alfie Denzo, Miguel Santana, Cassius Leroy, and of course, Christine K Kendra Christensen. I did not know we had so many refs. Now I know who to bribe when I'm gambling. I mean, well, folks, we are going to...
we're going to wrap this up for this evening. Thank you very much for coming out to VWE Primetime. Camera Kitty, focus on me. I am Deffy, and for Captain Rainbow Falcon, you have a great hump day. This video was filmed on location by Zarakan Productions. Zarakan Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakan.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakan Productions and their own media links. Zarakan Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, month, Day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like, comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakan Productions and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering.